we can sketch graphs of quadratic functions given in these two forms. To sketch the graph of the first form, where the coefficient of x is positive, we have to know that the shape of the graph resembles a smiley face. The minimum point for this type of equation is always at p, q, which is shown here. To find the y-intercept, we let x equals to 0. In this case, for this equation, when we let x equals to 0, we will get y equals to p squared plus q. This would be my y-intercept. Similarly, to find the x-intercept, we simply let y equals to 0 and solve for x. Once we have found the minimum point, y-intercept and the x-intercept, we can sketch the graph by joining the points together to form this graph. For this type of equation, which the coefficient of x is negative, the shape of the graph would resemble a set face. Its maximum point would be at p, q. Similar to the first case, to find the y-intercept, we simply let x equals to 0. And to find the x-intercept, we let y equals to 0. To sketch the graph, we join the points that we have found and we should get this shape. For this equation, the way to find the y-intercept and the x-intercept is the same. To find the y-intercept, we let x equals to 0 and we will get y equals to kab. To find the x-intercept, we let y equals to 0 and we will get x equals to a or x equals to b. To find the minimum point, we have to take x equals to a and x equals to b, add them together and divide by 2. With these three points, we can join them together to get the graph in red. We do the same method to sketch the graph for y equals to negative k x minus a x minus b. Note that the negative curve is a reflection of the positive curve about the x-axis.